everyone, this is Jan from Organics and I want to do a little video on what is growing in my kombucha. So, if you look at this kombucha, you'll see that there is something floating on the top. Now this kombucha has been uh, sitting out. Um, we went on vacation so I haven't touched this kombucha for two weeks. It has not been refrigerated. You can see all those little things growing off the SCOBY there and um, so I want to strain this off but I want to just tell you something about kombucha that you may not know. So this kombucha is raw and unfiltered kombucha that I make in my studio. I make it in oak barrels. I have the ability to make about 45 gallons a week. And this, like I said, is about two weeks old, not refrigerated, but it is very alive and is full of probiotics and glucaric acid, which helps fight cancer, glucosamines, great for your joints. It helps fight um, indigestion. It, it helps um, with digestive disorders. It helps heal the digestive tract because it lines it with probiotics. But some people, when they get their kombucha, they're afraid, oh gosh, it's growing something. And as long as it's not black and fuzzy or white and fuzzy, it's okay. This kombucha actually, when I see a SCOBY, which is what this is, a SCOBY, which um, is a symbiotic mass of beneficial uh, bacteria, beneficial yeast held together with cellulose, this tells me this is good kombucha. A few years ago, I believe it was around 2008, if you've been a kombucha drinker for a while, you remember that all the kombucha like disappeared off the shelves. And what happened was the FDA came in, thank you FDA, and they said, well, there's some alcohol in kombucha, we have to, um, dis we have to like figure out how much alcohol is in this kombucha. So it disappeared off the shelves for about a year actually. The FDA did testings on kombucha and they found that depending on how long it was went through the first fermentation, how much sugar was used, how long the second fermentation was, depended on how much alcohol was in the kombucha and it is a very trace amount. But nevertheless, they wanted to regulate kombucha makers because it's so wonderful and healing to the body, they have to regulate it, of course. And so they told com commercial kombucha brewers you need to remove the alcohol from your kombucha or you cannot sell it. You have to get a wine making license to sell your kombucha and therefore you wouldn't actually be able to sell it in the health food stores. It would actually be an alcoholic beverage. So the kombucha that you find in the grocery stores, in your health food stores, it has actually been, um, oh, what's, they have to process it. They have to heat it up to 180 degrees 15 seconds to stop the fermentation process. So heating it up to 180 degrees, guess what that does to it? It kills it. <laughs> so whenever you can buy kombucha, if you live near me, come to my studio. I have a kombucha club. Great deal, $15 a gallon. If you live in another city, find it from a uh, farmer's market or try and find somebody that is making truly raw living kombucha. And don't be afraid of it. Start with a little bit, See how it's very detoxifying too, so see how your body's gonna tolerate it. I had one client that had to start with one ounce a day because um, she had problems eliminating, she had a lot of toxins, and she started with one ounce a day and worked up to now she can drink as much as she could. But what I'm really proud of her for is that she just didn't drink one ounce and stop, you know, because she had detox symptoms. She, she drank like half a bottle the first time and she had detox symptoms, kind of felt like she had the flu. But I'm really proud of her because she didn't just say, oh no, I can't drink kombucha, blah. So she kept it up and she was able to heal her elimination problems and become very regular. We also got her on a colon cleanse and she, you know, uh, really improved her digestive health a lot. So what is growing on my kombucha is a SCOBY. There is no mold, there is no harmful bacteria there. It's a SCOBY and it means it's very healthy. Watch for black mold. You shouldn't, I have never grown kombucha that has had black mold on it or white mold on it. Um, if you use the right tea, don't use herbal teas. If you use the right tea and you'll maintain the right pH and your kombucha will be 
beautiful. This scoby's beautiful to me. So let's see, I don't know if I can even pour it out of here. Oh yeah, there it comes. Come on in Cole, closer, Cole, look. Is it gonna come out? Yep, well, there it is. Now you can actually eat this scoby. Um, I don't eat scobies. They're, they're beautiful, but I don't wanna eat them. <laughs> So I just um, actually can put it around on your plants or in your trees and uh, or throw it in the trash and then drink the, the kombucha. So bye guys.